Welcome back for another fictionalhead.com quick tutorial. Uh, today's tip is for Illustrator and InDesign and um, <clears throat> basically what it is is that a lot of people don't know that these dialog boxes and things like this here actually can perform math operations. Um, so if you're working in a document and I needed to know uh, say I wanted a box that was 3 8 inches wide but I didn't know what that was I could crack out the calculator, type in what's 3 divided by 8, copy that, paste it in, yada yada. But the easier way to do it is you can actually just type 3 divided by 8 inches and hit OK and it's going to make you a box that's 3 eighths inches wide. Um, and that's very helpful for if you're doing things that are really, you know, standard sizes and you need to do math operations, but you can also do things um, like adding and subtracting and things like that. So say if you had two objects or you had an object and you wanted this one to be two inches wider than that one, instead of trying to figure out what that would be, you can actually just go into the width and type plus two. And then in this case, I'm gonna use, I'll use inches and hit okay. And it'll just add two inches right to it. Um, this works again on any dialog really where you have um, information that's mathematical so like in that instance I just did there for the stroke say if I wanted to just add 5 you could just hit plus 5 and it would add 5 um, you can use this for moving things around so uh, you know the X position minus 50 points and it's gonna move it um, it's very very useful for when designing things where you want things to be mathematically accurate uh, and it also helps you avoid having to constantly launch the calculator tool to do your calculations. Um, so that's the tip. If you have any questions, shoot them to me on Facebook, YouTube, or Twitter, and hope it was helpful.